You may be asking yourself, do estranged adult children ever return? Is my child going to return? You know, some estrangement can last a lifetime. Some may come and go, but I personally know even more stories that turn out good and turn out with reconciliation, including my own. You know, there's a statistic that showed 81% of estrangements with mothers and 69% of estrangements with fathers eventually end in reconciliation. So those are good numbers. Not 100%, but good numbers. You know, I can't promise you where you're going to fall into that, but I want to dive into this topic because there are so many questions that I get asked by moms just like you. And so I want to cover some of those today uh, because I just think it's really important that you get answers to your questions. These are my perspective. So number one, is this normal? Can I be really honest? No, this is not normal. I don't want to say that it hasn't become the norm because it has, but I do not believe that this is the way things were intended. We were never intended to walk away from family. You know, are there situations sometimes where, you know, our kids do walk away for reasons that could be understandable? There are toxic families out there, right? I totally understand that. But the majority of situations of the stories that I hear are situations that just don't make sense, right? Things that don't seem normal, they may be the norm, but they're not normal. So you probably feel like you are the only one going through this and that's super common. It is so common to feel like you're, you're isolating, you feel isolated, but the truth is so many others are facing similar challenges. And I don't say that for you to join a club, right? I say that because I don't want you to feel alone. Number two, can I ever forgive my child? I know you're probably struggling with a lot of emotion. You're struggling with anger, maybe even some resentment. And those are things that you definitely need to work through. However, can you forgive them? Yes, I do believe that you can, right? But forgiveness is complex. It has lots of layers and it's definitely a personal journey. What one person is going to be able to forgive very easily, another person might not. And it's okay to feel those emotions. It's okay to feel the anger and the hurt, but we can't hold on to the emotions because I promise you that will hinder your healing. We need to have self-compassion for ourselves and understanding for ourselves before forgiveness can really ever take place. So what about number three? What do I do if my child reaches out? The day that a lot of you are waiting for, but what do you do, right? Hallelujah. If you have been estranged and your child reaches out, I know how nerve wracking that could be. But I know that there's the excitement and fear all at the same time. But an unexpected contact, you need to remember it's crucial also you, to consider your side of it. Are you ready for this? Just because they reach out, I'm not saying push them away or anything like that, but you need to have the boundaries in place to protect yourself emotionally as well as physically, right? So that requires grace and self-care. You know, sudden reconnection can be super exciting. And for many times, it could be for various reasons, right? Many times it turns out really well. And I think this is where it's really important that we remember that we're the mom and we need to put on those listening ears ourselves and hear them out, mind you, with respect on both sides. So there's many factors that could come into play to this, right? So how much work have you done on yourself? How have you healed? How much time has gone by? You know, what's the last thing that was said? That would help determine, you know, what this looks like. The thing is, as long as a conversation can be respectful, like I said, I think it's good to listen to and hear what they have to say. That this conversation, this initial conversation is step one. It's just step one. This is a journey because this interesting part here is so many of you are in estrangement right now and that's a journey in and of itself but you're going to be contacted by your sons and daughters and that becomes 
a whole nother journey of its own that you're going to need help walking through. It's not as easy as just picking up the phone, let bygones be bygones while I'm all for forgiveness. But it's a, it's a journey in and of itself, I promise you that. So in fact, for those of you that are navigating the estrangement side, or maybe you just have a rocky relationship with your child, but you realize now that you can't do this on your own, there's a link below to my discovery call. And that is an opportunity when you are ready to hear about some coaching options and you want help. When that's you and you're ready, then I want you to click it and you can learn more about the coaching, how I might be able to help you. And we can, we can dig in a little bit more over that. So again, if you're not ready for that right now, no problem. You can just save the link for another time. If and when you are ever ready, I would be more than thrilled to talk with you. You know, the next, the next question I get so much, and it makes me sad because I know the answer is yes. And number four is, will this ever get any easier? Because I know that you feel like the pain will never end. And there's that saying, time heals all wounds. There's some truth to that. It makes it more culpable, but it's because you're coping in different ways. Because the pain of estrangement can be so overwhelming, but it can be more manageable over time. You know, your healing, your self-care, your growth, your support system, all of these things and how you handle them will determine if this will ever get easier. I do believe it will get easier. You're just going to manage it differently, right? Number five, am I still a mom if my child is estranged? That one breaks my heart. Some of you have told me that you don't feel like a mom anymore. But you are more than a mom, right? I know it challenges your identity as a mom because they're not present. And that can be super complex, right? Emotionally. But overall, I just want you to know that being a mom is about loving and caring regardless of the relationship status. Of course, you still love your children. Nobody can take that away from you. You adopted or you gave birth. Nobody can take that away from you, not even your child. So remember that, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.